is going to be our first chapter this term, term two. So we're going to start with chapter six, and uh, our unit is going to be unit three, and we're going to cover ch chapter six and seven in it. Okay. So now uh, we're going to start this week with analyzing the translation. So we analyze translation here. So we could see that a figure one is moved, for example. For example, you moved it to the right. Let's say the figure one is where a figure two is going to look like. So if I'm sliding it this way, okay, and or I could I could go backward, I could go this way, for example, right? So this is how it works as a translation. Notice that translation does not do anything but except move things around. So let's say, for example, you have an actual example here, real life situation. Uh, this is the fire pit, for example, in a, a closer to our house. Somehow, somehow, you decided you don't like this location and you want to move it to this location. So if uh, you're an architect, the only thing you need to do, for example, you slide it this way and you go this way. And then you, if you go six feet this way and you go three feet this way, and you, that's where the new replacement will be. Okay, so notice that the same, the shape of the, of the fire pit is still the same. So there's no effect on the size. That's very important. Now, there's some keywords that we need to know. Something called image, free image, prime. So you are a person who's standing in front of a mirror, and you are the pre-image. Your image is actually your reflection in the mirror. So the original shape is the actual pre-image. The, the next the next image will be the actually the the next figure is will be the image right so now for example a b c d is your pre-image now the a prime remember the word prime i said we need to know what's a prime a prime see this here uh, on top of it here that's that's an a prime okay so we call it a prime then we call b prime c prime d prime that's when we represent an image for example okay so we go from A with nothing on top of it, or B with nothing on top of it. So you can see that the A there's a is like a, a line a dash on top of it, for example, or something like that. It's a very small uh, figure, which is that's what we call the prime. Now, same thing here. So I'm moving uh, P Q R S to this location. So I'm I'm actually translating it. So it notice the same shape. It did not rotate. It did not flip. I'm just taking it from one place to another. All right. So that's what we're going to be doing in this section. So the next section, we're going to be doing reflection. So you want to imagine yourself standing in front of a mirror, okay, and you 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 see your picture on the other side in the mirror, right? So your your picture will be your image, and you actually yourself as a pre-image, okay? So uh, reflection is the notice. That this is a good example of reflection. Somehow imagine imagine that your x-axis is your mirror. Notice that this C is all the way here. This D is all the way here. So now this C and C prime, D, D prime. Notice that still the same size, but the look is different now. Okay? So it's like upside down. So the, the image looks an upside down, okay, from the original pre-image. Okay, that's how it's going to be. And the same thing. Also, you could have a mirror here at the y-axis, the same thing. So the same shape, except, you know, the, the image itself, it looks upside down. Okay, so now that's what we're going to be doing in class, and I'll talk to you later. Uh, and that's it. Okay, bye-bye.